into the heart of Judas Iscariot, yeah. Simon's son, to betray him. Verse 3. Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things unto his hand, yeah. and that he was come from God and went to God. Thank you, Lord. We're reading from John, the 13th chapter. We're now at verse 4. He rises from supper. The master rises from supper. And laid aside his garment. He laid aside his garments. And took a towel. Took a towel. One towel he took. And every other on the internet and then you, you too. And girded himself. Right. He took one towel and he wrapped himself and girded himself in that towel. And what did he do? Verse 5. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet. They really didn't know what was coming up here, but they're just watching the Lord. They had their eyes on him. Yeah. Had him to sit down. Took that basin. And he went to the first one. I don't know which one was the first, because he even had it written in the book, who first. Because some people don't like to have no don't, don't want to put their feet in the water. Somebody else done it in there. So they don't have to leave feet and all that. I'm going to catch something. God, don't you, if you can feel it that kind of way, don't you get what? Just say, no, Lord, help me Amen. to come up to it. Amen. But you be acting part of a hypocrite. Amen. You say that thing. Look at that. Some, some people's foot don't look too kosher either, you know. Amen. But God wants you to get that out of your mind. Amen. Say this word is holy water. Amen. God, and nothing happened to me. Amen. Lord, I'm, watching my, I'm getting watch, my feet watching Jesus' name, your name, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please. Amen. After that, he poured water into a basin. Poured water into a basin. And began to wash the disciples' feet. And began to wash the disciples' feet. And to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Wipe them with the towel. Yeah, I see some dirt on that towel. <laughs> that towel is filthy. It may be to the mind, but I don't believe it. God said, look. Forget about it. Read my brother. Verse 6. Then coming he to Simon Peter. Listen to this part. Listen to this. This way, this way get really serious. And Peter said unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? As the rest of the brother will let the Lord wash their feet. But Peter was sitting over there. See how they have a lot of bad things to say about Peter. Amen. But Peter was really was a straight cross brother. Amen. Amen. He was a straight cross brother. And he loved the Lord too. He didn't lie. Amen. He was actually said, Peter loved the time being more than Jesus. He said, Yeah, Lord. Feed my sheep. Amen. Actually, three times. And he said, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest I love you. Yeah. If he didn't love the Lord, he'd probably tell you the lie. Amen. He loved the Lord. Read. Yeah. Then comes he to Simon Peter. And Peter saith unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? Now Peter sat there and said these words. In his mind. Look at the rest of the brother. That the Lord, that the Lord down there washing their feet. And they sticking their feet in that water. And the Lord they're washing it and, and, and wiping them. Look at that. They should be washing his feet. Yes. Uh-uh. I'll tell you. I'm not going to let him wash mine. Because I don't feel like I should let him wash it. Like the rest of the brother, they saying nothing. I'm going to say something. And what is that, brother? With John, the 13th chapter, verse 7. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Amen. The sixth six verse, that then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, do thou wash my feet? Ask him a question. I see all the rest of them get washed. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. So don't let nobody tell you the reason that Jesus was washing feet. Don't Amen. let nobody tell you about the reason why we get our feet washed. But <coughs> nobody know that. But there will be a day. There's a lot of things that we don't know that God will sit down and will explain and tell 
Thou hast no part with me. Are you listening? Amen. Do you hear that, Johnny, after that? You too. Sit up in the Baptist church, don't get your feet washed. Some people have been holding, holding it so far, holding the church. They don't give their feet washing. But God tells plainly, if you don't get your feet washed, to be doers of the word, not just hearers only, he'll tell you here now, you have to wash feet too. Amen. God don't care if you're doing everything else. Amen. And you, Amen. Look what he told Peter. But I do thou know it's not now, but thou shalt know here now. Peter said, No, you're not going to wash my feet. But what did, what did the Lord tell him? If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Don't get your feet washed. You know, it's dripping up all, all over the church, all in a you know, cold sweat. Wash down in a sweat. Amen. 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 